We're going to put electrodes on your gluteus maximus, yep. which is the largest muscle in your body, but there are different portions, and we want to get this upper portion here. Brilliant. On okay. both sides? On both sides. Okay. Both cheeks. And I can use this stuff to get a good context. That's good, yeah. Okay. To see what effect the muscle has, I need to be wired up with some electrodes. And I suspect that <coughs> they won't be filming you as you put these on. No, you won't be filming me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, with my bottom fully wired up and Professor Lieberman at the controls of the treadmill, yeah. it's time to fire up my gluteus maximus. To begin with, all I need to do is walk. And then Professor Lieberman turns up the power. Well, I'm going to bring you up to run. OK. Nice slow run. Every time this muscle contracts, a signal is sent to the computer. The stronger the contraction, the larger the signal. All right, you can stop. I'm going to stop you now. The differences between how my gluteus maximus works when I'm walking compared with when I'm running are displayed on the computer screen. <laughs> So this is you walking, right? And this is your left gluteus maximus in, in red and your right gluteus maximus in green. And you can see that when, say, for example, your right foot hits the ground in a walk, right, this moment right here in time, yeah. your gluteus maximus turns on just a little bit, right? And it's basically acting to push your leg back as you're walking. OK. OK, so now let's go to your running. Bam. So here you are walking, here you are running. And you can see, look at the gluteus maximus. Look how oh, much yeah. harder it's working. Yeah. It's an enormous effect. You don't really need your gluteus maximus to walk, but you can't run without the gluteus maximus. So really, in order to be a good runner, you have to have a good, strong butt. You cannot run very easily as a biped without a big gluteus maximus. So the muscles in my bottom, your bottom, and every human bottom on Earth have been shaped by the fact that our ancestors evolved a body built to run. But this running body wasn't built for raw speed. It evolved to run long distances. Our ancestors were endurance runners. In a developed country, so few of us run on a regular basis that it really is remarkable to reflect how much our bodies have been shaped by running. And I think even the fittest amongst us lead a relatively sedentary lifestyle compared with our ancient ancestors, for whom running wasn't a choice. It wasn't a recreational activity. It was essential to survival.